Today we're taking a look at the Timberin Heavy Duty Axleless Trailer Suspension. The suspension system provides a safe, smooth, quiet ride for your trailer. The two separate units replace your existing axle. Uh, we have these progressive rate mainsprings which are designed to absorb road shock and support your trailer's load. So these deliver a nice, smooth, stable ride regardless of your load size. And they compress and become stiffer as your load increases which is boosting your spring strength. Now this kit fits one axle and two axle trailers that use regular tires. It's not recommended for triple axle applications. And the weight capacity for this kit is 3,500 pounds. Now here at the back on the bottom we have rebound springs which act as return devices to minimize rattle and bottoming out. That really helps create constant pressure on the arm so that the suspension is never completely relaxed. Now as you can see we have two independent units really helps eliminate the need for a through axle which increases your ground clearance, lowers your deck height for easier loading and unloading, reduces roll during cornering, and really fits any trailer width. Uh, Built-in camber and tow-in help your trailer to track straight reducing wear on the tires. We have the 4 inch drop, easy lube spindles which accept trailer hubs. Hubs are sold separately and available at eTrailer.com. The 4 inch drop provides lower ground clearance and the spindles, this whole mechanism right here can be removed from the unit for simple replacement if ever damaged or if needed. We're looking at a heavy duty steel construction with black powder coated finishing to resist wear and corrosion and rust. They're easy to install, they bolt or weld onto your trailer's frame. Uh, we got the pre-drilled bolt holes, but you can weld it on as well. Um, again, it's designed to fit one axle and two axle trailers that use regular tires. Uh, with this part number you get two suspension units without hubs and they work with 6,000 pound hub and drum assemblies. The brake flange is a five bolt configuration. Now please keep in mind that the Timberin axleless suspension system may require additional support on your trailer. So if your trailer does not have a cross member above the spot where you want to install the Timberin system, you may need to reinforce the frame. That can be accomplished one of three ways. Uh, first, you can, or excuse me, it can be accomplished uh, but a few different ways, and we're mentioning three of them right now for you. First, you can retrofit the trailer with a cross member. Second, you can build out the trailer frame. Or uh, thirdly, you can actually use a two inch by three inch steel tube to connect the two timber and suspension units together using the built in holes or slots here on the back of each unit. That's going to do it for today's look at the Timberin Heavy Duty Axleless Trailer Suspension.